give you part of this last equation. Uh, the belief in the ego is a belief, okay? But then you can go further, a belief of a belief that there is no ego. So it's still a trap. Yeah, yeah it, it wouldn't really do, any, do you any good to believe that there is no ego. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and this is where we could say it's a common thing where people will use mantras or phrases or cliches and will go around saying it's all an illusion anyway. And they usually have like a but. <laughs> if you listen to them enough, it's all an illusion, but. Or it's all an illusion and it's kind of almost like trying to just toss it aside by saying, I don't believe in the ego. I don't believe that it's real, I don't believe that the world's real. But emotionally, if, if the peace isn't there on a consistent basis, then that would be a good example of almost like the belief of the belief. Uh, which is just another uh, kind of a, a delay maneuver. And uh, I believe Arden and Persa were the ones that told you know, Gary Renard that it really, it just isn't practical to walk around talking with everybody and telling them that the world's an illusion. Um, you know, it takes a lot of mind training uh, to reach that state. It's, it's not going to do anybody any good. I mean, I've told those stories, like, it would be like going into a hospital and somebody's up there they're in a cast and, and traction and everything, and you start going and banging on the cast and going, what are you doing in here? <laughs> you know, you're wasting your time. It would be very inappropriate, actually, to do that. And it would be much more appropriate if you found yourself in a hospital to just watch your own mind. Watch what you are thinking. Watch your judgments. Uh, they can even be like metaphysical judgments, you know, like a holier-than-thou kind of attitude. And this is truly about being very, very humble and starting to say, wow, I've got this deep mind that's so deep and so vast, and every day I'm given so many opportunities to just expose the judgments that are coming up. But instead of judging the judgments, <laughs> I can sit there and I can learn to practice to give them over to the Holy Spirit and watch them go by. And you may call them whatever you call them. I know you've went through some phases, what do you call yours? Just the stupid thoughts, is that it? Yes. <laughs> he says, oh, stupid thoughts, stupid thoughts. And then she says, oh, I'm getting to a point where I, I want to even let go of that, but they just seem stupid. They seem erratic, irrational. They don't have any kind of um, consistency. Uh, they don't seem to be in part of a flow at all. They just seem to be crazy, random thoughts. But what we're talking about is going inward to a point where you can let go of judging them as stupid. Exactly, yeah. Uh, exactly. Which is, or horrific, or uh, even negative or positive. I mean, in the end, negative and positive are part of the duality that the ego has made up too. I was just at a conference uh, out in San Francisco, it was a Course in Miracles conference, and uh, they got 417 of us, they said, okay, they always sing the same songs, but one of them is, accentuate the positive, eliminate the, the negative, there's no place for mystery in between. And the Holy Spirit was like, you know, there is no positive, there is no negative, and there is no in between. Uh, you know, the Holy Spirit is like reinterpreting the song as I'm, as they're all 470 people are singing it. Because that's another, that's, that's a pretty subtle way of talking about the ego's trap. But even that song, accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, there's no place for mystery in between. It's still acknowledging the duality and saying, I just need to be more positive, uh, just a little bit more, then I'll get there. Very sneaky, you can see how, how even positive thinking is part of the ego's strategy of defending against being exposed and released. Even positive thinking. We're not saying that, that affirmations don't have a place in the spiritual journey, just like manifesting 
you know, certainly for all of us has had a place in a spiritual journey. But it's just that if you want to go all the way, and you want to go to the point of really letting go of the ego, then you have to start to see that the positive judgments and the negative judgments are on the same continuum. And as long as you engage in either one, you're on the ego's playing field. And it's meanwhile sitting on the sideline going, very good. Stay out there. Fight the good fight. You fight against those negative emotions. Kill, kill, kill. <laughs> it's like cheering along. And, and that's, we're getting into the more of the subtleties when you start to, to start to unveil the trickiness, the sneakiness of, of positive thinking. Uh, some of you might have seen the movie, uh, What the Bleep Do We Know? where they have the, the former uh, theologian from, uh, I think he's from uh, Scotland or Ireland, who's talking on there, Michael Ledwith. And he's saying, Posit most positive thinking is like a little smear, he says, covering over all this n negative or all this judgment that's underneath. So I've said for years, I've said, yeah, it's like putting like sweet icing on a cake of mud. <laughs> and if you go down, like some people like to test out their cakes if you, with a toothpick, if you go down with the finger, you get the, the mud right underneath the sweet green icing. It's the mud. And that's good. I mean, it's good to get in touch with the mud. Uh, we're not saying that's a bad thing. We're saying well, all, all the better to go through the darkness to the light. It's just that there sometimes can seem to be a lot of mud. Uh, you, you're in a mud bath <laughs> before you know. And then it's like, why did I get on this spiritual journey in the first place? <laughs> this seems like more like mud wrestling uh, than, than anything that's uh, helpful. So this is why we have to be very, very thorough in exposing these things. But this is a very good use of time when we come together like this because we expose the ego's tricks. And certainly positive thinking and affirmations or saying, you know, the world's just an illusion is not really where you would start.